Today we go over exciting news for the Star Wars franchise when it comes to the character of Darth Vader. This is Mike Zero here. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, as you all know, the future of this franchise seems to be very expansive, not just with the films, but also with books, novels, video games, and comics which allows us to learn more and more about many of our favorite characters on a deeper level here. Now, just yesterday, we heard the big news of Star Wars Age of Republic, Age of the Rebellion, and Age of the Resistance that will go over all individual characters that are actually tied with those ages that will actually make us learn about some huge revelations of each and every character, one of which consists of even Darth Vader. Now, Darth Vader is a part of the Age of Rebellion series that is to come out not too far from now in the near future that will actually allow us to learn about Darth Vader on a deeper level and huge revelations will be made in that comic issue. Aside from that, we also have Fortress Vader number 25, issue number 25, where it does indeed state the fortress is complete. The door will be opened. Vader finds everything he has ever desired. The Dark Lord gets everything he deserves. Now we do know that the Lord Momen Helmet is exactly the piece that will construct, apparently, the Darth Vader castle on Mustafar. And once we go into that castle, we're going to see all of these different revelations being made, not just in that issue, but also in the age of the rebellion comic for Darth Vader. We're going to be learning a whole lot more about this character when it comes to his personal life and when it comes to his specific missions given by Emperor Palpatine and his thoughts about Padme Amidala and his path toward the dark side of the Force and ruling the entire galaxy. Now this is something that I really do enjoy about the comics and the novels, the books, the video games. Specifically, it all has to do with Darth Vader for me. That's something that I really like reading, you know, the comics and the books for, is of course for the character of Vader. I think that that is the one thing that really attracts me the most of the comics is of course the character of Vader because he's such a complex character who was once Anakin Skywalker manipulated by this Dark Lord of the Sith, Emperor Palpatine slash Darth Sidious. And that's the thing here, is that we're going to be learning more about this character, and we're going to be learning about these huge revelations that will make us look at Vader in a totally different way when we actually watch these movies, such as Rogue One and Return of the Jedi and, you know, Star Wars A New Hope and Empire Strikes Back. Everything here is really going to allow us to look at Vader in a different way because of everything that we have learned in these canon pieces. Now, I know that some of you out there would definitely disagree and say that you would rather have this be done on film in an actual Vader TV series or maybe even a actual Vader movie, a Vader standalone film. If you guys ask me, I would love a Vader standalone movie where we would actually learn more about his personal side to the story, where we actually do get to see him in that meditation chamber, thinking about all the thoughts that he had in the past. Now, the other thing is this, in the near future, we will be learning more about Darth Vader's injuries, new facts about his injuries. So in the EU slash Legends, we knew all about them. However, going into the Disney canon now, we know not everything about Darth Vader when it comes to all of the injuries that he's dealing with still, even though he is inside of that suit. So we're going to be learning more about that soon as well, as well as new powers of Darth Vader that he will obtain through new canon pieces. But overall, guys, I couldn't be more excited to learn about the future of this franchise, not just with comics, books, games, and all that, but also what the standalone films hold after Star Wars Episode Nine in 2019. Again, we're still waiting on what Star Wars 2020 is going to be. Hopefully it's going to be a movie that falls in an age in which Darth Vader could very well make another cameo appearance, very much how he did in Rogue One. But anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.